Hi, thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be going over problem 1i from Matt 2023. We have a polynomial p of x which has degree 3 and p of 0 is 0, p of 1 is 1 and p of 2 is 2. We're also told that this polynomial has a repeated root at x equals m where m is bigger than 0. We want to know what is the value of m. If you want to have a go at this problem, pause the video now and give it a go for yourself and I'm going to dive straight into a solution. So to solve this, we're going to start with the fact that p of x is degree 3, so p of x is a cubic. And what I'm going to do is think about how I would go about factorising p of x. Well, we know that p of x has a root at 0, because p of 0 equals 0. And so that means that I can take out a factor of x from p of x. Also, we know it has a repeated root at x equals capital M. And so that means I can also take out a capital, uh, sorry, an x minus m squared, like so. And this here is a cubic, so there are no other factors here. However, one thing we want to be careful of is it doesn't necessarily mean that p of x equals this. It could be that p of x is any scalar multiple of this. So I'm going to put a, an a here, because if I multiply x times x minus m squared by a constant, let's say a is 23, that's not actually going to change the values of the roots. Um, it's just going to kind of stretch this parallel to the y-axis. So we know that p of x is of this form. Now we're going to use the facts here to help us work out, uh, well, get some equations involving a and m. So if I plug in 1, I get 1 equals a times 1 times 1 minus m squared. And if I plug in 2, I get 2 equals a times 2 times 2 minus m squared, like so. And since for this question we're only interested in the value of m, I don't need to worry too much about what a is, so I'm going to eliminate a by dividing these two equations by each other. So doing equation 2 divided by equation 1, oh, divided by equation 1, 2 divided by 1 is 2, and on the right hand side the a's cancel and I get 2 divided by 1 which is 2, and then 2 minus m squared over 1 minus m squared which is 2 minus m over 1 minus m squared. So I get 2 equals 2 times that, so the 2's cancel. And so cross multiplying, I get 1 minus m squared equals 2 minus m squared. Expanding this gives me 1 minus 2m plus m squared equals 4 minus 4m plus m squared. The m squared's cancel, which is quite nice. And rearranging, us, rearranging this gives us 2m equals 3. And so m equals 3 over 2. And so our answer is option E. And that's how we solve this problem. Uh, considering this is a problem I, which is the ninth out of the ten multiple choice questions, this was actually surprisingly straightforward. Normally this question takes, um, you know, there's a little bit more to it here, but in this case it's not, not too difficult. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you are new to the channel, please do consider subscribing and also giving this video a like. Uh, apart from that, have a nice rest of your day and I will see you soon.